with Dan Duquette at the winter meetings. And Dan, uh, as you look over the next few days, how active do you think it will be in the industry? How active do you think it will be for the Orioles? Well, there'll be a lot of movement here. Uh, we're going to try to address our needs to improve our pitching staff. We'll be looking for a starter and a reliever. And even though we added Trumbo last week and also LJ Host to our outfield, we think we need to add another outfielder. Now, you mentioned uh, when you met with reporters earlier how fast the pitching market is moving. Some big names have come off the board. Several names were speculated about today by various reporters. How does that impact the Orioles? Does it mean you have to be more active going for a pitcher now because some are moving fast? Well, I think the prices at the top of the market have been staggering, really. I mean, Price got a huge contract. Granke got a big contract. They're the top pitchers in the league. And... Uh, you know, I frankly wasn't expecting that those kind of prices. What that tells me is we got to develop our Kevin Gosmans, our Mike Wrights, our Ty Wilsons, get the most out of them to help our ball club. Does that make it hard for the Orioles to play in the second or third tier pitching market? No, I think we're very competitive, and uh, there's some pitchers that we're talking to, and hopefully we'll be able to land one of them. You mentioned a couple times the Orioles' payroll has gone up the last few years. A lot of people have done the math, how many dollars have been accounted for already, and with arbitration projections. Is the payroll going to have to go north again for you to get done what you need to get done? Well, I think we've got some flexibility in the payroll, and uh, we've got a good core of our team, especially up the middle. We've got Weeders, of course, Scope, Hardy, Jones, and we haven't even talked about Machado. So that's a good place to start for the ball club, and I believe we've got the resources to put the pieces together to have another good team next year. You don't want to say it's going to go north yet. You'll see how it plays out. Well, our fans have been very supportive. They like our team. They like the players. And I expect that we'll be in a position to add this year. Last thing, Dan, uh, Chris Davis, I know because he's a free agent, obviously there's not too much light you can shed on it. But where where is it with the Orioles? Has there been, at least been an offer made? Well, it's not appropriate for me to comment about the free agents uh, that played for us or any of them frankly. But we're, we're looking for another outfielder or a first baseman. We'd prefer a left-handed hitter. A lot of options. A lot of ways to go, right? Well, there's a lot of players that are available. Hopefully we'll pick some good ones for the fans. Dan, thanks for taking time. We look forward to catching up with you the next few days here in Nashville. Appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. Dan Duquette with us here at the Winter Meetings on MassinSports.com.